So we've got a piece of spring steel here. This is a spring fuller. Ultimately, a spring fuller is used to compress material down from the top and bottom as fullering dies, and that allows you to create abrupt necks in your material if you're making things like candle holders, uh, bamboo nodes, anything that has a drastic tapered neck that you need complete control over and just vertical compression. Simple tool to make. We've got the breakdown here. This is a 5 8 diameter spring steel rod. It's 31 inches long and we've broken it so that we have four inches for the hardy fold, six inches for the curved radius section, and then 10 inches for the top and bottom section of the die. And there's going to be some wiggle room as we start to fold the hardy in half to get the compression to work. Okay. But ultimately we're starting out with 31 inches of steel. This is 5 8 diameter rod and then it will be forged to square to fit the hardy. fits your hardy hole, you just need to take the time to forge the side square. Then you're going to repeat the process of folding it in half a second time so that this first fold folds onto itself again and we can square everything up in the hardy hole. Both of using the hardy hole to get everything close to 180 degree bend. The last step is to forge the material over into a square bar that seats within the hardy hole. So you have to straighten your two spring pieces, keep those in alignment, and then forge this region flat
hardy hole, we're gonna need a couple of extra tools. So we've got bending forks, and then this is just a diameter of bar stock that will fit within our spring puller as a capture. We can either use the first, the second, or the third shoulder. And we're gonna leave those laying at our workstation so that when we need to do the fitting, we can. that our fuller spring fuller fits in the hardy hole and then using the tongs to just spread the legs there's a short leg and the long leg we're going to spread them to 180 degrees like so and then hammer the bottom leg flush to the anvil and at this point we can grab our jaw for our round stock. Lock it in place and get ready to bend our radius. It's going to probably take a second heat. Because ultimately we want a little bit of material to go beyond our radius. So we're gonna need to bend this to a full 90 and then just the back section. So we're gonna open that back up, but we still have the heat. Hammer it flush. And then we're gonna heat up the short leg to make sure that that seems flush within the spring puller hardy tool. Heating this section up to the it. And then we'll come back on the next heat after that to get our radius. Set our standard. So, we've got, it's a good 
single piece of three quarter bar, that's fine. So here we have the final spring fuller, fully tolerant with our maximum three quarter set at the midpoint so you can neck down at the narrow section and feed in with wider pipe stock.